Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm going to be grilling up some flanken style beef short ribs. Flanken style? Stay tuned. Right, before I get started on the beef flanken style ribs, we've got to make a marinade. So I'm starting with a pineapple here, and I'm going to show you guys how I clean my pineapple. You can do this for dessert or for a marinade, like I'm using today. So just cut the bottom off, cut the top off, stand it up, and then just easy on the sides and take off all that peel. You don't want any of those pieces, these darker pieces, on your pineapple. There we go. So just go all the way around. Now I'm only gonna be using about half of this pineapple for this recipe, so the other half you can put some tahini on it, or just eat it as is. All right, so I got my pineapple peeled, and I'm just gonna use about half of this pineapple for this recipe, so we'll put that one aside. This other one, what I like to do is just cut some pretty thick rings, and then cut that into quarters. All right, so to the marinade, I'm gonna add the juice of two large limes. Now this marinade that I'm making right here is good for any carne asada recipe. It's gonna give your meat a really nice flavor and also get it really nice and tender. If you guys have never used pineapple as a tenderizer, trust me, it works fantastic. Next, I've got some cilantro right here. I'm just gonna twist this and break it apart to release the aromatics from our cilantro. Mix that in there. Ooh, that smells good. And I also have some green onions. Same thing. Just twist them up in there. Just like that. Got one cup of orange juice. and a couple tablespoons of soy sauce. All right, next step is just get in there and mix up that marinade. Check that out. All right, I'm gonna move this aside and get our flanken style ribs ready. All right, so I'm starting with two packages of beef short ribs that have been cut flanken style. I'm gonna open this up and show you guys exactly what a flanken style rib looks like. And I do want to thank E3 Meat Company for being the sponsor of this video. If you guys haven't had a chance to check out E3 Meat Company, I'm going to leave a link to their website down inside the description box. Check them out. They have an amazing story and really good beef products. All of their beef is aged and it's black or red Angus, which is high quality beef. So normally your beef ribs, you want to cook them low and slow to get them really nice and tender. Since I'm not going to be smoking these, I'm going to be grilling these. I'm going to try to get them nice and tender with that marinade. And I got to tell you, pineapple, all the ingredients that you guys saw go into this marinade is going to help get these beef short ribs nice and tender. All right, so before I toss my ribs into the marinade, I'm going to season them up with this Cattleman's Grill Trail Dust. This is a fantastic rub for beef, pork, chicken, turkey, you name it. So I'm just going to sprinkle some on both sides of the rib. Just like that, and add it to our marinade. So just repeat this process. All right, so I've got the ribs completely seasoned up. Now just mix it all in to our marinade. Toss this around. Make sure they all get some of that marinade love in there. Man, this smells absolutely amazing already. If you guys have never used this style marinade for your carne asadas, 
I highly recommend that you give it a shot. It's got some really good flavors and the meat is going to get really nice and tender. All right, so I'm going to place these ribs into my fridge for four hours and at the two hour mark, I'm going to come in here and give it a good mix and throw them back in. Stay tuned. All right, so it's been four hours since our meat has been marinating. I'm going to go ahead and fire up my Yoder flat top and I am using some Jealous Devil lump charcoal. As you can see, I do have some spent charcoal there. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more on top of that. All right, let's start up our charcoal. I'm gonna be using these fire cups for the very first time. I just got these in and I might use two of these. So I'm just gonna put one right here, right next to some charcoal. And right here. Man, that started up really fast. Let's light up this other one over here. Look at that. Just put some around that fire right there. All right, so I'm gonna let the charcoal get nice and red. I'll bring you guys back in a couple of minutes. Stay tuned. All right, so the charcoal is nice and hot. Let's go ahead and add our flanking style ribs and get them grilled up. already smells good and I just put them on. Now that is perfect right there. We got that fire kissing the ribs. Just flip them every couple minutes. We're gonna do these really hot and fast. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm just grilling up these last few ribs. We'll see you guys inside. All right, the flanking style ribs are ready and they were falling apart on the grill. Check them out. Wow. This is like the perfect finger food. Check that out. A little bit of char on there. I'm gonna toss some green onions over the top of our flanking style ribs. Oh yeah, let's give them a taste. All right, let's give these flanking style ribs a try and see how we did. Check it out. Mmm, like butter. Super tender. Good grill flavor. And that marinade is shining through. These are delicious. I gotta tell you, I just started using this trail dust from Kettleman's Grill and it is already one of my favorite rubs. Check out the nice char. Oh my God, super tender. Look at this. This is fantastic. Mm. As I mentioned earlier in the video, if you have not tried this marinade, I highly recommend it. On cuts like fajitas, maybe the seven bone steak as well, you will absolutely love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this flanken style short rib video. If this is your first time to my channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Until next time, Joe with Smoking Joe's Play Barbecue. See ya. Man, this is fantastic. Mm. That's good.